Welcome sa e-school ng bayan. Andito ako para samahan kayong mag-review. Tara, aral! If y varies directly with x and y is equal to 4, when x is equal to 5, what is the value of y when x is equal to 15? Okay, so may dalawa tayong ways to solve this one. Okay? So, simulan muna natin sa paggamit. Kunwari, hindi mo alam yung concept ng proportions. Okay? So, gamitin muna natin yung concept lang ng variation. So, since y varies directly with x, we will have this. Okay? If y is equal to 4 and x is equal to 5, ang ating k would be 4 over 5. Okay? Now, let's substitute this k sa ating initial equation. Okay? Di ba madali lang? Pero para sa mga hindi makahabol, or medyo nalilito pa, explain natin. So, k is 4 fifths times x. What is the value of y when x is 15? So, itong 15 is a substitute natin sa x. Okay, valid to kasi again, yung k natin should just be constant. So, substitute x is equal to 15, we will get x is equal to 4 over 5 times 15. Okay, cancel 5. Maging 3 ito, we will get y is equal to 12. Okay? Nakafollow naman lahat dito na medyo madali lang. Okay, how about this one? The variable s varies jointly with t and u. Okay, varies jointly with t and u such that s is equal to 7, t is equal to 4, and u is equal to 3. Okay, so paano to? What's your answer here? Kapag hindi nasabi, Kung why hindi siya specific, you will assume na, ano, directly, okay? So, when S varies jointly times K times T <laughs> times U, okay. Sorry, hirap magsulat. I'm using my mouse. I-substitute natin ito Sa equation. Kasi ang hinahanap natin, what is the constant of variation? Yun yung hinahanap natin. So, S is 7. K, hindi natin alam. T is 4. And U is 3. Okay? So, 7 is equal to K times 12. Our K would be 7 over 12 or letter E. Okay, lahat naman nakafollow, no? Kapag may tanong, sa chat na lang. Okay. The value of W varies directly with Y and inversely with Z. So if you have... Ay, mali. Sorry. So if we have W is equal to varies directly with y. So, nasa taas ang y. And then, inversely with z, so nasa baba ang z. The constant of variation is 13 over 7. So, substitute natin yan sa k. We will get 13 over 7. What is the value of z when w is 13? So, ito, substitute. 13 is equal to 13 over 7, y is equal to 3. Again, hindi natin alam ko ano ang value ng z. Okay. Paano natin makukuha to? Ipat natin yung z sa kabilang side. 13 over 7 times 3 over 13. Okay. Answer is 3 over 7 or a. Guys, marunong ba lahat mag, ano, mag, mag-solve pag may mga ganito? Kinakaya naman po. May long method nito, di ba? I mean, yung parang technical way of doing it na whatever you do on one side, gagawin mo sa kabilang side. So, for example, yung 7, gusto mo mapunta sa taas. So, let's mo multiply both sides by 7. 
mawawala yung 7 sa right side, magkakaroon ka na 7 sa left side, divide both sides by 13. Okay, so i-practice na lang rin natin to. Tsaka sa mga hirap mag-manipulate na mga ganito, magkaroon na lang ng additional session or separate session. Pero I think naka-follow naman lahat kasi medyo simple lang to. So z is equal to 3 over 7. Okay, if the ratio of a to b is 3 is to 4, and the ratio of B is to C is 2 is to 3. What is the value of A when C is 5? Okay. So, para makuha natin to, alamin muna natin ang value ng B when C is 5. Okay? Nakuha kong bakit? Kasi wala ka namang direct na ratio or relationship ng A is to C. So, unahin muna natin kung ano ang value ng B. Okay. So, dito, if B is to C is equal to 2 thirds and the value of C is 5, anong value ng B mo? B will be equal to 2 thirds times 5 or 10 over 3. Correct? Okay. How about here? If A is to B is equal to 3 is to 4, A over B is equal to 3 fourths. Anong value ng B mo dito? Dapat 10 over 3. Okay? So, since this is 10 over 3, pag dilipat natin siya sa kabila, or anong gagawin dito? You will multiply both sides by 10 over 3. Okay? In this side, magka-cancel siya. We'll be left with A is equal to 3 fourths times 10 over 3. Answer here would be 10 over 4 or 5 over 2. Okay? Nakuha naman. Okay. There are 14 boys and 16 girls in Tyler's class. What ratio best represents the relationship between the number of boys and the number of students in Tyler's class? Depot. Okay, anyone else? A. Oh, guys, be careful ha. Basahin ng maayos. Ano ang tinatanong? Ratio ng number of boys and number of students. Okay? Number of boys is 14. Number of students is 14 plus 16 or 30. 14 is to 30. Pero since wala sa choices, pwede natin tong i-divide both by 2. Okay? So, divide both by 2, you will get 7 is to 15 or 7 over 15. Answer here is letter C. Correct? Okay. Anyone? May nakasagot na ba? 3 po. Okay. Let's check kung tama. Okay, so ang ratio natin dito is we have days is to carpenter. Okay? So, yung una nating ratio would be 4 is to 9. Alright? Next naman would be unknown or let's say x na lang. x is to 12. Okay? So, since varies inversely yung number of carpenters with the number of days, Ano yung equation natin dito pag may proportion ka? Di ba proportion naman sila dapat? Dapat constant yung k mo dyan. So you will have a times b should be equal to c times d. Okay? Remember this? So here we have 4 times 9 is equal to x times 12. X is equal to what? 
3. Or, it will take 3 days bago magawa ng 12 car carpenters. Does the answer make sense? So, mas marami na yung gumagawa, ibig sabihin, dapat ikli na yung number of days. Okay? So, from 4, naging 3 days. Nakuha ba? Nakuha ko saan to galing? Yes. Okay? Mas yes, madali ka pag alam nyo na lang agad, no? Kasi alam nyo, imamultiply nyo yung magkasama sa ratio. Okay. Hala, wala tayong time limit. Oh, Mahala ko actually may time limit. Talaga? Bakit? Nagbabayad ba ako? Okay. So sige, maghahanap ako dito. Okay. So dito, meron ka bang variables na nagbabary inversely or directly? Kung word problems po ba ang gagamitin ay proportion, bahala ka. Either way, dapat tama yung sagot mo. Okay. Sige, balik tayo sa tanong ni Paul ha. Kasi dito actually, pwede mong kunin yung K, di ba? Tama? Okay. So, gamitin natin yon para lang makita ng iba. Sige, mamaya ko na ito sasagutin ha. Let's first... Okay. Um, guys, balik muna tayo sa previous, previous problem kasi may nagtatanong. This, in this case, ginamit ko proportion. How about if we use yung um, variations? Variations, okay? Sorry, unprepared ako sa examples kasi akala ko may time. Okay. So, since inversely or indirectly varies, ibig sabihin our equation should be y is equal to k over x. Let's say yung y natin is yung number of days. Okay? Ito yung time. Ito naman yung carpenter. Okay. So, if it takes 4 days for 9 carpenters to paint, ano ang k natin? 4 days is equal to k over 9. Alright? Or, k is equal to 36. Now, let's look at the second scenario. For 12 carpenters to do the job, how long will it take? Y is equal to K over X. Hindi natin alam yung Y. Ang K natin is 36. And ang ating X is 12. 36 divided by 12, the answer is 3 days. Okay? So, dapat pareho pa rin yung makukuha mong sagot. So, yung tanong pala is, if in some cases po, tama pa rin po ba ang makukuha mong answer? Yes. Okay? Assuming na tama yung ginamit mong equations. Tama na inversely varies or kung directly man. Okay? So, dapat pareho lang yan. Kasi, kaya nga sabi ko kanina, di ba, related lang sila. May mga cases, ito kasi madali yung example. So, madali nyo makita na either way, pareho yung makukuha nyo sa God. Pero when it comes to, pag kunwari marami ka ng variables, minsan mas nag-work kapag variation, Minsan naman, mas nag-work kapag proportion. Kasi kunwari, pag variation kasi, minsan yung K mo, sobrang dami. Okay? So, instead na, kasi instead na nagpa-plug and play ka, mas madaling mag-proportion. Okay? So, yes, technically, pareho lang. Dapat yung sagot mo. Okay, how about this one? Ano dito? Inversely or directly? Meron ka dito 30 is to 4. And 10 more children. So, ibig sabihin, 30, 30 plus 10. 40 is to Y. Kasi hindi natin alam. So, since inversely, ang gagawin natin is multiply this one and then multiply this one and quit. So, 30 times 4 is equal to 40 times Y. Y is equal to? Three days. Okay? Okay. How about this one? Ma'am, pataas po sa glit yung sa last problem po. Ito? Okay, may questions pa dito? Okay na pa. How about this one? 
when y varies proportionally as the square of x, if y is 3 when x is 6, what will be y when x is 21? Okay, anyone? Uh, this time, I think mas madaling gamitin pag nagpo-proportion ka pa rin, di ba? Y varies proportionally. So, ibig sabihin, you have y is equal to kx. Kx what? Kx squared. Okay, take note of this, guys, kasi square of x. So, sa case na y is equal to 3, ay variation naman yung ginawa ko. x is equal to 6. Continue na natin. Substitute natin siya doon. 3 is equal to k times 6 squared. Alright? So, our k here would be 3 over what 6 squared? 36. 36. What will be y when x is 21? Pamit naman. So, we have y is equal to, gamitin natin to, kasi yan yung k natin, 3 over 36 or 112. 1 over 12. Pareho lang yan. Times 21. So, our y is 21 over 12 or 7 over 4. Okay? Ay, oo nga. Kaya pala. Okay, this should be 21 squared. What's, what's 21 squared? You have 21 and then... 441. 441. Yeah, 441. So it's actually 441 pala. Sorry. Okay, so here ang sagot natin would be 441 divided by 3. That's so yeah, 441 over 12. Divisible ba rin siya by 3? So, this becomes 4. Ito, pag dinivide natin by 3, we will get 1, 4, 7, 7. over 4. Okay, this is our final answer.